Hello guys and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about how to capture your retro games console for under £20. We'll go with 20 just to keep it on the safe side. So, basically you're going to need these items. You're going to need, first of all, a Super Famicom. Or something similar. Anything basically with a composite output. You know, for composite for those layman's people, unless I'm talking about it, completely the wrong ones, uh, in which case it'll be component. Composite. These wires. White, red, yellow. So, very easily to distinguish which one's which. Yellow is video. Your white and your red are left and right. So, you want your Super Famicom, or anything, basically, PS2, original Xbox, your Wii, anything like that, basically. Um, and yeah, so get that all plugged in and that. Just plug it into the mains for now. Right, so first, you want to, you also need the Applic USB 2 video grabber, which has these connections on it. So, you'll notice here, we have the composite, but we also have an S video. So this S video is what we're going to be using to plug our SNES into, to capture from. So, the next thing you need is a SNES, SNES cable with composite and S video. So that's, that's composite, S video, buzzing. There will be links down below to all of where I got these items from. Most of it was Amazon, to be honest. Um, the next things you'll need are, you'll need one of these. Ignore the, the white one, because we won't be using that. But a photo to 3.5mm jack. And last but not least, this, this item completely depends on your TV that you're going into. If you are going into a CRT that doesn't have the option for composite, you're going to want to get one of these. Which is composite to SCART adapter. Pretty much does what it says on the tin. So first you want to plug the applique device into the USB slot. Plug it into a USB 2 slot. I've found it doesn't work that well on the USB 3. It tends to be a bit jerky. Um, but USB 2, it is a USB 2.0 grabber, so obviously don't plug it into USB 1 because then it won't have enough power. Um, so you're going to want to plug that in. It does come with an installation disc, which came in this packet, but is still in my girlfriend's laptop. Um, because basically, if like me, your PC doesn't have a CD drive, you're going to want to get that information off the CD onto a USB stick. Very easy to do. Literally, put the CD into your laptop, put your USB stick in, click and copy and paste everything from the CD onto a USB drive, pop it in, and then just click auto run. And it'll auto run, it'll install all the drivers, it'll install a little bit of software that you don't you don't have to install if you don't want to. Um, so once that's done, um, Streamlabs will then recognise your USB 2.0 video grabber, which is the... Uh, uh, I keep calling it the Applique, and it's not. It's not called... It is called the Applique. I am getting it right. It reminds me of an apricot, I don't know why. Um, so, what you want to do next is plug your Famicom into the mains. If you don't know how to do that, then this probably isn't the video for you. Um, and then you want to take the... You want to get your applique, which should be plugged into your thing, but for the sake of me being able to show you what I'm doing, you want to take that, plug the S video into each other. Fairly simple. Pop straight in. Do not connect these. You do not need these. Just, just leave them dangling. You don't need them. Right, so you take that, and then you want to take this, your white and yellow plug in plug into there as so yes you are only plugging two cables in here for the most part somebody is going to point this out at some point you are not going to get stereo sound from this you're only going to get mono sound <coughs> which for the games that I'm running like I'm, I'm speed running Super Metroid at the moment studio uh, stereo sound isn't isn't a massive part of Super Metroid, so that's not an issue for me. For you, it might be. In which case, what you'll want to do is get some audio splitters and then run them, run an audio splitter from here, from the red, out, and then from, and then into the red slot, and then you can run in, in stereo. So that would be a bit of an extra cost, but this is this is literally just how to how to get the gameplay there and how to get it onto the screen. Um, so then you want to take the red cable and this is where our phono to 3.5mm jack comes into it 
Plug that straight into there. Leave this white wire dangling if you've got it. If you don't, then it doesn't matter. Um, and then you want to take your 3.5mm jack and plug that into the mic input of your PC. Um, which, it'll, it might come up as real tech or something similar. Um, and then that is literally it. So your chain is going... The applique S video. And then, it's, it's a bit of a dodgy chain to be honest. Right, so from your SNES, we'll start again, we'll start again. So, Famicom, SNES, whatever, whatever you've got on the other end of this. Plug that into your console. SCAR adapter, plug your yellow and your white in. Um, if you don't use the SCAR adapter, obviously it's just the same, but without the SCAR adapter. Just plug your yellow and your white in. Next, you go to the applique. And then after that, you go to this. So these, right here, if you already have your retro console, these cables right here are the only ones you'll need to capture your, your gameplay. Um, once you've done all that, I mean, if you've got a, an audio mixer or an a, a audio interface, then you could obviously plug into there and then monitor the, the sounds just by using knobs, you know, and adjust the sounds just by flicking knobs around. But that's that's something you could do. But for this budget of under £20, the, these are the cables that you need. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to the PC and we're going to show you how to actually get this working in Streamlabs because there is a few settings that you need to mess around with and a few audio inputs that you need to pop in and stuff like that. So we will catch you over this way. A few moments later. So, welcome back guys. Um, if you have, obviously if you've come this far in the video, you're wanting to know how to... We've, we've seen how to put everything together with the USB grabber and the SNES and everything, and now you're wanting to know how to get it into Streamlabs OBS. So, here's the process for that. Obviously, I'm capturing my screen and that. I've got my, my webcam, so I've got display capture. Just ignore the multiple instances of my face. Um, so, first things first, getting your SNES in. Um, so, the USB grabber, you go to video capture device, obviously add a new source. Um, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to just put my USB grabber in as an existing source, but I will go through all the settings and that with you. So as you can see, this is this is how, it's, how, it, how it works. You've got everything there. Qualities. The quality is not obviously to the sort of standard that you would get with the Framemeister or the OSSC. But for £12, shipped, that's good enough quality for me. And it's good enough quality for my viewers as well. They've said that that's, that's quite alright. Like, nobody's had any complaints about it yet, so... Um, <clears throat> next thing is you'll want to get your audio in. Um, because for some reason, the, the USB capture device will won't transmit the audio through the S-Video. I don't know if that's just because S-Video is strictly video. I'm not too sure. It's something I'd need to research. I probably should have researched before doing this video. Um, so next, you're going to go to Add Source, Add Audio Input Capture. If you've done as we said before and plugged the 3.5mm jack into your PC microphone input, Audio Input Capture, Add Source. Now, mine is a real tech. And so I will click on my real tech high definition audio microphone pop that in and now you'll be able to hear that that captured there or should be able to audio input capture yeah it's it's just there so that might have been a bit loud i apologize for that um but that that is now there you now have your gameplay here um right as for the the settings of the usb grabber you want to go into properties first you want to configure the crossbar um, which basically selects, that brings up this little box here, and will ask you what, what input you want. Um, so obviously click S-Video because you're using the S-Video. Ignore the output. You're not too bothered about the output right now. Um, it does say about audio, but I've not managed to get it working. This just seems to be the simplest method for me. Um, and then you want to configure video, and that will bring up this little checkbox here. You want to make sure that's on NTSC M for the Famicom anyway. I haven't tested this out with uh, PS2 or an Xbox original or anything like that yet. I've literally just tried it with the Famicom because that's what I was aiming to get through this. Um, but yeah, that is... And then obviously you just edit that how you want it on your stream. Um, but that is how I have managed to capture SNES gameplay for under £15. Um, just the capture capture stuff. Um, which is bloody reasonable compared to some people saying, oh, you need to spend this on this and get a HDMI upscaler and run it through an Elgato HD60 Pro. It's like, no, you don't. You really don't. Like, for somebody just playing SNES games, not doing any any sort of 
you know, like, top tier. Like, if you, if you literally just want to get your gameplay onto your computer, this is the cheapest way to do it, in my opinion. But thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to check us out on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash ggduane. All the links below to all the products mentioned here will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.